Next time you're at the checkout and you hear the beat. Next time you're at the checkout and you hear the beat. Next time you're at the checkout and you hear the beat. Next time you're at the checkout supermarket. <laughs>
Where's the money? Next time you're at the checkout and you hear the beat. Next time you're at the checkout and you hear the beat. Next time you're at the checkout and you hear the. Ah, hello. <laughs> I was about to say, oh, I'm not going to make you guys uh, listen to that horrible, horrible remix any longer. <laughs> so I didn't actually make that last remix, the Supermarket Sweet One. That was a genuine 12-inch single that came out back in um, the uh, 90s, I suppose. Uh, and MC Dale Winton. Yes, yes. Ah, uh, yes, but it's all good. Speak up. People are saying speak up. Can you hear me? It seems okay for me. It seems okay. Should be all right. Yeah, okay, cool, cool. Here we go. Yes, guys. So before we get into this, um, uh, please, all you need is a pen and paper. There's going to be no winners here because, honestly, you know, we're all retro gamers. There are no winners. Um, we're going to be, uh, if you, if you want to be, uh, uh, you know, smart about it, you can download the little quiz sheet. I'm going to be chucking that up in the chat right now. You'll see that in a few seconds. Or you can just get a pen and paper. All you need is a pen and paper. Uh, you can work on your own. You can work as a team. It doesn't matter. There you go. There you go. And I just got my first donation of the year, actually. Of the year. Cramilla. Woo! Not seen the Mr. Soap live stream in ages. And here's £20 for bringing a bullseye remix to my ears. Good luck in the quiz, everyone. Also, you sound much better with the sound on. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes. Well, I turned it off because... Um, well, I, I always turn it off when you've got that introduction going, haven't you? So I'll just give it a couple of, literally two or three more minutes, just two or three more minutes that people go grab themselves a pen and paper. Or if they want to be, you know, extra special, they can download the uh, the quiz sheet that I've actually created. So, uh, yeah. Shouldn't take much longer than an hour, this quiz. But I thought it would be a good way to start the year. And, uh, yeah, Adam, Adam, that is a good one. Everyone shout out your team names. Shout out your team names. Dalton, how was your Christmas, Daniel? Well, my Christmas was very good, thank you. It was good to uh, spend the time with the family. Um, there was obviously no other option. You're not allowed to leave the house, are you? <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Um, text boxes on a Word document works well. Absolutely, Adam. If you want to just have yourself, if you're on a PC, open up a notepad or a, anything, and you will be able to watch. Got 130-odd people watching. We will get to this very soon let's move over to the quiz room shall we guys hey here we go here we go ah yes so um we got team grizzly we got team chevmatic in the house uh what else we got oh oh team stupid uh cupid stunt for me there you go ah Something Went Wrong by Adam. So people that have actually seen one of my live quiz shows may recognize some of the questions. This is a little tester. I put all this together today because I'm working on a huge, and I mean a huge, complete history at the moment. Um, and uh, yeah, you you guys will see a little preview of that later on in the stream. Um, but uh, yeah, this is just a, a test, a, a bit of a greatest hit of the, of the quizzes I've done so far. I've done four or five live. I've done one in Norway. I've done in Margate. In um, Did I do one in Blackpool? No, I didn't. I did one in uh, Nottingham. Uh, a few other places as well. So yeah, there we go. There we go. Uh, team name, we are Sex Bobam. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Who else we got there? Turbo Drive. Um, uh got oh, some caddy fans in house yeah 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 so a lot of these were recorded quite a while ago but it's all good ah oh, control alt reese good to see you here buddy just grab yourself a pen and paper if you want to print the one that i've actually created for you now's the time but i think we're going to get into this uh what's the time we'll give it one more minute and we will get into slopes game show and if this works if this works then we will um we'll, we'll make it a monthly thing how does that sound how does that sound at the end, you can tell me if you think this has been a success, because I've never done one of these before live on the stream, so. Hmm. Yes, 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 yes. Loving the Streets of Rage music. You can hear that in the background, can you? 
Yeah, I can hear that. I just put the music on. That sounds alright. That sounds too bad. La, 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 la. Yes, doesn't sound too bad. Right, guys. I think it's about time we started the quiz. But first, as uh, Mr. Dalton has sh uh, suggested right there, everyone hit that like counter because it works really well for my Atari like system when you all hit that like button. It's a special little game that I've created. I'm quite happy with it. Um, at the moment, the, the Vega Plus is kind of the better console out of the two, and we don't want that to happen. We don't want that to happen. So let's see if we can get that to 100. We'll come back to that a little bit later on. Uh, are we going to get to 50? Yes, we got to 50. Look at that. Look at that. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. Right. Here we go, guys. Let's start this quiz. And we're going to go through. I need to make sure I've got my document open so I know what I'm doing. Yes, so here we are. Um, so, like I say, some of these were taken from quizzes that I've actually done uh, live at, 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 at um, uh, expos and things like that. So, there'll be a few little bits in there. You get an idea of what it's like coming to see Slopes Game Room at uh, an expo. Uh, so, yes, I am Slopes Game Room. This is why I normally introduce myself. Um, but you all know who I am. You're all here. Let's give a massive shout out to Retro Unlim uh, because Retro Unlim was someone that I did quizzes with such a long time ago and they were the people that really helped me out in my early days back when I was below 5,000 subscribers. A massive shout out to Retro Unlim. If anyone out there wants to find more retro video game related content or retro gaming nostalgia content of any type, go and um, Google Retro Unlim. You'll, uh, you'll have millions of hours at your fingertips. And uh, yeah, big supporter of the show since the very early days and I'll always give those guys a shout out. So let's move on. This is Slopes Game Show. Today you are going to be able to earn yourself 80 points. Normally I take the questions in at the end, but you'll be marking them yourself. And there are going to be five rounds, with the very first round being the controller round. Oh, yes. So the controller round, um, I'm, not, I'm not that great at naming uh, the rounds, if I'm honest. <laughs> But you'll hear as it goes on uh, these rounds. Uh, well, you can be the judge at how good I am at controlling these. Ah, oh, Retro and Lim's in the house. There you go, Retro and Lim. Go and subscribe to Retro and Lim. So, here we go with our first round. And introducing the first round, we have this gentleman. Ah, let's start that again. Here we go, guys. Greetings, Clint from LGR here, and well, let's get right to it. It's time for round one of this quiz, Slope's Wacky Controller Round. Now, the rules of the quiz are quite simple. You just name the controller that is shown on screen and the system that it was originally intended for. And for this round, we're going to start with this thing right here. Yes, it's quite... The odd beast. You got a full sized joystick over here, but then you also have a trackball on the other side here, both on this very large, rather cumbersome looking thing. So, what is it? I wish you luck. LGR here from LGR on YouTube signing off. Back to you, Slope. Back to me. Oh, isn't that nice for him to say that? Yes. So guys, this is the controller round. This is round one. There are going to be 10 possible answers in this particular one. This is obviously the first particular question. And you're gonna be able to get yourself two points per random controller that we show up on the screen. The way you're gonna be able to earn points is if you can name the, um, uh, name the name of the controller. It's got a very specific name. What is the name of the controller and what system was it originally intended for? That's the way you're going to get yourself two points. So if you don't know the name of the controller, still to put down what system you think it is uh, uh, was originally intended for. Um, and that's how you get yourself two points. Or, or, or one point if you get one of those right. And that is how it works. And I just got a uh, um, PA Felton, $5. Um, Happy New Year, mate. Bit of trivia for you. Fallout 76 uh, features the hometowns of two mythical creatures. What are the creatures and where do they allegedly live? I don't know. I'm really sorry. I've never, ever played Fallout 76. But thank you for your donation, my friend. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I, I'm afraid I can't answer that. Feel free to answer the question in there, guys. Feel free to answer the question. But don't answer any of these questions because we don't want to give it away to everyone else, do we? No. 
So if you know the name of this particular controller and what system it was originally intended for, you're gonna be getting yourself two points. Let's move over to question two of round one. Here we go. AVGN fans may recognize this particular device. Obviously don't. Obviously do not type it in the uh, comments. I'll remove the comments if I need to, but please don't make me do that. I like talking to you guys and you talking back. What is the name of this particular controller and what system was it originally intended for? And looking at my answers, I've muddled them up, so I'll work it out at the end. But don't worry, guys, we will find out the answer to all of these particular questions at the end of the quiz. Oh, yes. There you go. That's number two of the first round. Moving over to number three. What is that? Ooh. Oh, no. No, it's right. It is right. This is the AVGN uh one that you guys may recognize i think he worked with this one i'm pretty sure he did it's been a while since i've watched avgn good channel good channel just don't have as much time to watch the channels uh, you know you, you like oh come on the hell is that Man. don't be putting down anything retro and limb i know you're being funny don't worry no idea says adam well this is going to be like an education thing for people that don't know it's all good it's all good this, this is only the first round this is the wacky controller round we'll move over to other rounds eventually um in one of his earlier episodes yes i was right there you go so that's um where are we that's number three here we go the next one what is the name of that controller and if you don't know the name if you don't know the name that's fair enough. Write down what console or whatever it is for originally. Originally. And the reason I say originally is because, you know, for instance, a Mega Drive controller, uh, which this is not, don't worry. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you that. Uh, can work on like a, 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 a Master System and uh, the back of an Atari and an Amstrad CPC. You know, it's the same connector. But what was it originally for? So, um, yes, yes. What was the name of that controller? And what system was it for? So, I'm afraid I can't answer any questions, but please do not put any answers down in the comments. Here we go, moving on to the next one. What do we think, guys? So there's, there's 10 I'm going to be showing you for this, for round one. As you can see, I've gone down the route of making this a very visual quiz. I don't want to uh, uh, just sit here and read off questions. I like to be a bit more experimental, you know. That's that's the way I do things. Mm. What's the name of the controller and what system is it for? We'll move on to the next one. Now, this is a funny one. This is hilarious. This is a, That is a genuine... Which way am I pointing? That is a genuine controller. <laughs> or at least it was marketed that way. <laughs> Should we turn up the Streets of Rage music as well? Make it a little bit, a bit more pumping in here? Here we go. Not too much. Here we go. Not too much. Yeah, that's a bit of all right. There you go. Cool. There we go, so what? <laughs> I've never seen any of these, says Control All Reef. Well, this is an education class for everyone. It's all good, it's all good. So, what's the name of the controller? Oh, what's it zooming in on? What's the name of the controller? Don't worry, that's not the name of it, that's the name of the company that made it. What's the name of the controller and what system is it for? You can obviously look these up on Google if you want, but you're only gonna be fooling yourselves because there's no winners here, are there? We're all losers, we're all losers. What's the name of this controller? And what system is it for? Now, what I've obviously done to make these harder, as you may have already picked up yourself, is obviously a lot of these controllers have the name of the system and obviously the name of the controller on the controller. And I've had to get my old uh, knockoff Photoshop GIMP program open and, uh, you know, blur out those particular sections. But um, 
The clue in this one, I would say, is in the coloured buttons that you can see right there. I think there's your clue, there's your clue. I mean, if you don't know it off the back of that, you probably won't know this one. But what system is it for, and what, uh, what is the name of the controller? So we've got one, two, three more of these. Move over to the next one. Ooh, one of my favourites in this list. I desperately want this. This, this, this is a genuine controller. <laughs> I love it. Um, I really, really want this. And like I say, at the end, we're going to actually go through. Um, we're going to go through all of the answers at the end after we've done the five rounds. Uh, and I'll explain what these controllers, not only what these controllers are used for, uh, uh, what the names of them are, but what they're used for as well. Really tangling up my words there. It's been a heavy day of editing today, guys. Heavy day of editing. We've got an insane complete history coming up this weekend. So name of the controller and what system it's for. Let's uh, zoom out one more time. We'll go over to the next one. Two more to go. What is this? Now, I that's actually the picture of my one. I have this. There it is. Yes. If you look carefully on my screen, on my little thing down there, you can see somewhere around me the case for it. Uh, you'd have to really look quite hard. But, yeah, I've got this. Uh, but, yeah, there you go. And if you don't know this, you don't watch my complete history. There's another clue for you. Because I did a whole video on this, this on, on this series of games. Um, this was donated to me, actually. Um, well, not donated to me. A, a, a friend sent this over. It's not a donation. I, I, yeah, whatever. One more to go, guys. One more. What's the name of this controller? And what system is it for? It's not the Breath of the Wild Special Edition controller. <laughs> And finally, the very last one, fans of, uh, oh, what channel talked about this? I remember doing this, and then just before I went and done it live at the expo, um, this particular channel started, did a video about it. What's the name of the channel? Um, who was it? Uh, Metal Jesus Rocks did a video on this. So there you go. And that is the end of round one. Slopes controller round. What do we think, guys? Out of out of uh, you get you, you get out of it, twenty possible points off that first round. Give me an idea, guys. What? Whereabouts do you think you landed? About ten or so. What? How many points do you think you got out of that? So I can see how hard I'm making this. I got at least two of them. Uh, zero says controller wins. <laughs> Three, maybe three, not off to a good start. Four tissue stuffs in the lead by the sounds of it. I only recognise three or four. One because I just arrived. Oh, don't worry, artificial fox. There's another four rounds to go. Just grab a bit of paper, buddy. Um, zero, maybe one point. Uh, okay, so I'm definitely making this too hard. <laughs> but it's all right because the next round, the next round is going to be quite fun, guys. The next round is Sprite It Lucky. My UK crew know uh, know what I'm referencing here, yeah? D is Strike It Lucky a thing in the States or other parts of the world? Let me know. Let me know in the chat. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. All right, says Ben Thomas. He knows. He knows. Right, so here we go. This is Sprite It Lucky. What I'm going to be doing in this one is I'm going to be playing a particular... <laughs> What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be playing a particular uh, uh, video clip, and it's going. To, and for this particular round, you're going to have five possible answers, okay? And you get two points per correct answer. Because this one's quite a tough in. It'll be over and done with quite quickly this round. You're going to see sprites from old video games, and you've got to work out what those video games are. So it'll give you a list of all sprites from number one. And it'll give you a list of all sprites for number two, number three, number four, and number five. So all you've got to do is write down number one, look at all those sprites and go, okay, that is this particular game. Number two, that is this particular game. And that is it. So let's see if you can work these out. Any hot spots? <laughs> very good, very good. Here we go, guys.
So here we go, this is the first video game. It will loop over a couple of times. This is from a classic video game, and all you guys gotta do is work out what that classic video game is. So that's number one. Here we go, number two, guys. So all of these sprites are from another game, another classic video game. Obviously, I'm not using the main characters. That's a good uh, one to give away there, that big uh, flying dinosaur thing. Go with that tour, is it? So there's number two, guys. Moving over to number three. All these sprites are from another game, a completely different game. Ooh, something to do with fast food, maybe? Oh, come on. What could it be? What could it be? I got one, says Benji Bertel. Moving over to number four. Don't be typing them. Anything but tangerines. Uh, ben, you, you give yourself a point for knowing the name of the song, mate. Here we go, number five. What classic video game is this? Again, I always like to ask, how did everyone do? How did everyone do? So there's only five sets of sprites there, five video games. Out of the five, do you reckon we, uh, do you reckon we got that one? Obviously, do not be typing the names of any in here. Two or three, two or three. I guessed three, says Artificial Fox, at least two. Three, okay, I think that's a bit better. Do you want me to play it again? Give me a yes or a no, or should we just move straight on to round three of five? Lucas Softail got zero, but it's all about taking part, isn't it? Yes. No. <laughs> okay, move on. Everyone wants to move on? Everyone wants to move on? That's fine by me. That's fine by me. Let's turn that music back up. Oh, yeah, here we go. A little bit of music in the background. So, uh... Yes, what have we got next? I can't remember. Uh, oh, yeah, here we go. Moving on to round three. The box art round. Oh, yes. I told you I was really good at naming these. <laughs> so for the box art round, uh, we have another guest introducing this particular round. And for this particular one, we have this gentleman right here. All right there, everybody. This is Jim Caddick from the YouTube channel Caddick Icarus, not Jim Icarus. And today I'm going to be kicking off round two of the Slopes Wacky Box Art Round. That is the name of this quiz here. And basically, very simple stuff. I've got to show you a Photoshop box art from my end on this camera right now. And you've got to guess what game this box art comes from. So, hey, what do you think of this? Hey? Now, I've got to be honest, when um, Slope sent me um, a couple of PS1 box arts that I had to pick through for this particular part of his quiz, um, one of them I thought was a little bit too obvious, even though the title was removed. This one, though, believe it or not, I did get it quickly, but it took me much longer to get than the other game box art that he sent me. So I figured, hmm, maybe some of you might struggle with it as well. I struggled with it, certainly. I didn't grow up with this game in particular, though, personally, so... It was a bit difficult for me um, to begin with, so whatever. But hey, yeah, here we go. I'm just rambling on now because I don't know how much time you have to guess what it is. Are we good? Is that, is that enough time? Are, are, are we not giving anyone enough time? Are we being unfair? Great, let's stop. So there you go. Thank you so much for tuning in, everybody. My YouTube channel is once again Cadicarus. It's stupid to say, stupid to spell. C-A-D-D-I-C-A-R-U-S. Thank you so much for having me on, Slope, and back to you. Ah, oh, ain't he great? Ain't he great? Ain't he great? Ah, oh, yes, yes, yes. So basically, um, I'll, let me tell you the rules for this one very quickly. Um, you're going to be getting yourself one point per correct box art. I have actually uh, messed around with these 
uh, so you don't know what they are. Uh, I've taken out the name of it and maybe the character or something like that, but you guys can just work it out and you get yourself a point for every single one you get right. So this is the third round and there's going to be 10 possible uh, answers for this particular one. I've got to give a quick couple of thank yous. Um, I saw uh, Noj Eod, uh, so if I'm getting that wrong, $2, Psych for the Cad Icarus, DJ Slopes crossover, and there you have it. He's appeared a couple of times on the channel. Um, uh, great, great channel. Really big fan of Cad Icarus. Uh, big inspiration for me editing-wise in my uh, when I started out. <coughs> Excuse me. And Retro Vista. What's happening, big fella? Enjoy the channel. Well, thank you very much, and thank you for your donation there. Thank you. So basically, guys, um, all you got to do, this is um, the third round. Uh, work out what the name of this particular game is. Um, you're not getting a point for the system. That's pretty obvious. That right up there. I think we get that. I think we get that. So this is number one. Moving over to number two. What game is this? What game is this? And like I said, guys, we will go through the answers together at the end. At the end. Terrible coughing. I've got a bit of... I'm terribly coughing tonight, but... Thank you very much. And how are you doing, my good friend? I think I know the series, but I'm not sure what entry it is, says Fabian. Well, have a guess. Have a guess. And just to make it extra harder, if it is, for instance, it's not Sonic. I will not accept the answer of Sonic. It has to be Sonic 2 or Sonic 3 or whatever it may be. So, yes, get that last one right. Did you know they made a re some fan made a fan remake of this particular one right here? Mm. That's number two. Moving over to number three. What is it? What is it? It's a pixel thing. How you doing, buddy? So obviously for new people joining, please don't write the answers down in the actual um, chat. Please don't write the answers in the chat. Um, this is uh, just to be written down on paper and we work out the answers at the end. At the end. So there you go, that one, what was that one? That was number three. One point per correct answer. Please don't write the answers in the chats, people. What could this one be? This is a this is a mean one. This is a mean one. This is number four. This is number four. Don't forget, guys, this is the uh, the third round, number four. A Castlevania game? Maybe, says Sam Tendo. And you've just reminded me, I need to be showing you guys a little preview of what's coming up this weekend. Chris says, that one is actually easy. Uh, well, I think so. I think so. <laughs> Please don't put the answers in the chat. Black Box, the video game. It is not that. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Moving over to number five. Oh, oh, what is it? Retro Rista, your editing style has been, uh, been a big inspiration for my channel, mate. I really do appreciate it. Keep it up. Well, thank you so much, Retro. Uh, I want to be checking you out, mate. Let's give you a... Uh, I'm typing your name down, so I'll check you out later. <laughs> I don't know how to open it up without ruining this. But thank you very, very much. That's very much appreciated. Uh, there you are, Retro Vista. You are marked right there, my good friend. Thank you for your donation. Uh, there you go, guys. That is number five. I think we all know it's for the Sega Saturn. But what's the game? What is the game? Please, guys, do not write the answers. You're, you're all getting it wrong, but do not write the answers. Here we go. This one is number six. Number six. I got this maybe a year ago, I believe it was. About a year ago on vinyl. <laughs> I got this one on vinyl. So, yeah. Uh, no, I didn't know that, Emmy. Yeah, give him that hint. Give him that hint. And, guys, please do not write the answers in the comments. Please, please, please. Didn't expect you to pull this one out. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sensing a few more people are getting these, which is good. What is it, guys? We're having a zoom in. So this one is um, uh, question seven of round three. We've got two more rounds after this. A 
could it be? What could it be? What could it be? Let's turn up that music a little bit. You guys can't really hear it in the background too much. Is that a little bit better? Hear it in the background too much. Is that a little bit better? Oh, I actually know this one. I thought you would, Control Alt Reese. I thought you would. So that is number seven. Moving over to question number three. Um, three, sorry, question number eight. So it's an N64 game. Hmm. But what is the game? For newcomers, again, please do not write the answers in the um, uh, in, in, in the comments. We will go through all of the answers at the end. We're quite close to the end now. There's an Ubisoft game by the looks of it uh, on the N64. But what is the game? What is the game? Hypnosis the game. Put it down if you don't know. It could be. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> Moving over to number nine. The longest supporters, and I do mean the very longest supporters of my channel, may know this one. And don't bother going looking back because it's no longer the first video I ever did. <laughs> there we go, it's a bit more centered now. So there we go. I just realized the background, see the little editing mistake I made? So there's two layers of the same image and the background is moving at a different speed than the front one. It's because I've put the front one on a smooth speed and the back one on a linear speed. Look, see it there? It moves before the front one. And you'll see it more now. See the background moves faster and then it's not catching up. Little mistake by me. Little mistake by me. You don't normally see those mistakes in my videos. There we go. That's number nine. And moving over to the last cover of round three, the box art round. This one. What could it be? What could it be, guys? What could it be? Loving you guys are using the old emoticons tonight. <laughs> Catherine Reese, feel free to join in at this point. But if you want to go back and look at the uh, original uh, um, original questions I asked, feel free. All you need is pen and paper. Do not write down the answers in the, the chat. Um, maybe I should have that as a bit of text along the top for newcomers that might not be aware so what is this particular game yes what is it what is it what is it like i say we'll go through at the end and that is the end of round three one zoom it out zoom it out and boom that was the end of round three the box art round thank you all so so much guys thank you let's get a, a, a rough um a rough idea on how we did there so we had 10 box arts out of about five or so Oh, Miss Steemo, that went better. Possibly 9 out of 10, but probably not. We'll see. We will see. We've got people here reckoning. What, 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 what do you reckon we got? One at least, says Michael. How many out of 10 do you reckon you got there? About four, says David. Three, says Sam Tendo. Two for sure, Adams. Control of Reese, two. Nil. Uh, one, two, maybe three, four, kind of. Seven? That's not bad, Fabion. Two or three, six, seven. See, I want to try and get a middle ground. You don't want to make them too easy. You know, that was... Uh, <laughs> the Doki Doki Panic one that everyone knows. What's buried in the desert? I, I won't show you, actually, <laughs> what I've got behind me. Um, so, yeah, there you go. That's the end of the third round. We're going to move over to the fourth round. And for this particular round, guys, you're going to need your volume right up. But to introduce this particular round, the music round, I have another incredible YouTuber, uh, which you guys can probably work out by the uh, title of this particular video. <laughs> Let's give it up for Miss Kelsey Lewin. Is that still her name? She's not married since she's done this for me. Let's have a look. Hi everyone, Kelsey Lewin here, and it's time for round four of Slope's Game Show. It's the wacky music round. The rules are simple. DJ Slope has mixed together 20 different video game songs and samples and sounds from all different eras into one long mashup. You just need to guess as many of them as possible. And that's pretty much everything you'll ever need to know about round four, the wacky music round. Good luck. Take it away, Slope. Oh, well, thank you very much, Kelsey. How nice of you. So yes, guys, I need to explain this round a little bit before I press play. And we'll probably play it twice. We normally do at the live shows. Basically, I have mixed together 20 video game songs and samples and God knows whatever else into one two and a half minute or about two minute mashup. 
you guys just basically need to write down as many of the answers as you possibly can. Now, if you are hearing a song, you're like, oh, I think I get it, I think I get it. Lucky for you, I've actually made a music video to go with this, and you will actually be able to, if you watch the video, you'll probably be able to put two and two together and go, oh yeah, it's that particular game. So, uh, here we go. This is the music round, and like I say, we can probably play this again in the background. Let's turn down Streets of Rage a little bit and play this one. Here we go. <laughs> Crafty cut. Yes, sir. The entire unit was wiped out. Those two are still alive. Yes. Thank you, Mr. President. And are way too stupid to understand what you're getting yourselves into. Oh yeah, guys. I love the chat was uh <laughs> the chat were working it all out, trying to trying to suss it all out there. Um so we can play it one more time. Put this on SoundCloud slow. People are loving it. So I've actually made quite a few of these. I was gonna try and do one more because then I've done a hundred, and then when I put them all together, I'll do one hundred video game tracks in ten minutes. I thought that's a nice roundup, you know. So uh, ten out of ten. Hey, thank you very much. So actually there was twenty to get in this one uh shadow so um there was 20 in there we got seven maybe i got maybe three says Catherine. um it's like childhood the musical says retro man <laughs> absolutely uh guys for new people joining i saw the numbers were shooting up a little bit there please do not um write them uh please do not write the answers in the comments and I, I, I know i've said it a few times people in here for a while but yeah uh, I got probably 10. I've, I have seven written down, 12, 11 maybe, but I use the visual cues. Uh, those might throw me off. Well, yeah, I'm using adverts. I'm using clippets from the games. I'm using promotional flies, anything I can to try and give an idea on what that is. Maybe, you know, a, a, a flash up of the company that made it or something like that. We can play it one more time because that this is the one round that's worth playing twice. And after this, you've only got one more round anyway, and then I'm gone. So uh, we'll play that one more time. If you listen to it intensely last time, watch it intensely this time, and vice versa. Let's play it one more time. Yes, sir. The entire unit was wiped out. Those two are still alive. Yes. Thank you, Mr. President. Okay. 
kepala Wait way too stupid to understand what you're getting yourselves into hey there we go guys so that was the end of that i've put i've put one person on the time out there please 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 don't write the answers um it's uh yeah but there you go anyway there was 20 uh that i showed off there and we're going to be moving over to our final round now uh, which i forgot to label i've just looked at the video cues i forgot to label this one but it's cool so we've got a bit of a legend introducing this particular one um although he's not too happy with me check this out Hello, I'm Ashens, and welcome to round four of Slope's game show called Slope's Wacky Funko Pop Round. Why it's called that, I don't know, because I came up with a round for a video I did ages ago. I even sent him the original pictures I used. <sighs> some people, right? Anyway, <clears throat> the idea is you will see some beautiful Funko Pop characters, and you must say the name of the character and which media franchise, movie, TV show, game, whatever it is they're from. Simple as that. One point for the name, one point for the thing they're from. Nice and easy. Well, I mean, the thing itself isn't easy, because they all look the bloody same. But anyway, let's not get into that. Right, back to you, DJ Plagiarist. I mean, DJ Slope. Ah, oh, he thinks he's funny, doesn't he? He thinks he's funny. No, he is. Ah, oh, what a legend, eh? What a legend. Right, guys. So, yeah, because we don't, it's not all about video games, this particular round is all to do with Funko Pops. I'm going to show you a Funko Pop. Just one Fungo Pop on its own. And all you guys got to do is you're going to be getting yourself, let me check my point system here. Uh, two points per correct answer. If you can work out... There we go. If you guys can work out the name of the show or game or whatever it may be. In fact, I'm looking there. Let's make it a bit easier for you. Every single thing here is from a show or a movie. It's not nothing to do with a video game. So everything I'm about to show you is from a show or a movie. If you can work out the name of that show or movie, you get a point. And if you can work out the name of that particular character in that show or movie, you will be able to work out. You'll be able to get yourself another point. So let's go with number one. There you go. <laughs> It's such a stupid round. It's such a stupid round. Ah. Yep. There you go. There you go. It's just a silly little round to end off. The final round. If you can work out, do not type it in. Do not type it in. Do not type it in. Generic man from generic movie. Yes, Ben. That, you're going to say that for 10 more times, mate. If you can work out the name of the movie and uh, or show that this particular uh, character is from, you get your point, but you also get another point if you know the name of that character in that show. Not the actor, the name of the character in the show. So there you go, there's number one. I actually know. <laughs> Dad from any sitcom says I'm the man now, dog. Absolutely, mate. <laughs> so there's number one. Moving over to number two. Who is it? Who is it, guys? It's a character, we think it's a man, probably, from a TV show and or movie. Ooh. Luca Softdale just says, I just realised my stream was five minutes behind. It's all good, Luca. It's all good. It's all good, it's all good. Generic old guy supervillain. Um, let me look. 
Man, I have seen this, not for a while. I'm going to say, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to give you that. <laughs> so there you go. There's uh, number two. We'll get through these quite quick because these are ridiculous. Moving over to number three. Who is that? Who is that? Uh, have I put these around the right way? Yeah, I think I have. I think I have. <laughs> I'm looking at the way I've written out the answers. I think I've got them around the right way. I, I never watched this show, so. Don't forget, like I say, guys, we'll be working out the answers at the end. George from Accounting says Fabian. Next up. Now, I think this is probably uh, looking at the more, uh, probably the easiest. The thing with Funko Pops, you only know who they are if you have like the set. If you have like just Rachel from Friends, it's just, it looks like a random, could be anyone. It could be your mate. But then if you have all six of them, you're like, oh, okay, it's Friends, you know. There you go. Easy. Yeah, there's a few easy ones. Yeah, I know this one. These all look like people I work with. I'm sorry to say, David, unless you work with some pretty uh, big, not A-listers. Are there any A-listers in here? There might be. A, uh, no. I don't know. That's that's debatable, isn't it? That's debatable. Moving over to the next one. Oh, so the clue here is obviously, you know, what he's wearing. And an apple. Is it an apple? I don't know. I've never watched this either. Something with a, uh, I'm, I'm guessing it's an apple. Like, I'm not giving you clues here because I've never watched this show. <laughs> Biker chick protagonist from Indie Game on Steam for £4.99. Goodbye wallet. Will Smith 2.0. I'm going to say he's not dark skinned enough to be uh, <laughs> Will Smith. I'm just trying to help you guys out here. It's him from that show, says Grizzly. So there you go. That is uh, that one. What's your favourite beat 'em up and retro wrestling game? And thank you very much for the uh, ten dollars there, retro. Favourite beat 'em up would always be uh, Streets of Rage Two. I've moved more into Streets of Rage Two than One. I always thought One was better than Two, but I'm the other way around now. Although Streets of Rage Four, I I play that game so much. I've got a video about that coming up actually. But uh, thank you for very much. I, I'm not the biggest wrestling fan, so the WWF game for the Mega Drive is the one I played the most. But thank you for your donation. There's that one. Uh, let's move over to the next one. This is the final round now, guys. So he's uh, got a bit of an I don't give a shh sort of eye thing going on there. The correct answer is no mercy on N64. I don't like the N64 and I don't like 3D wrestling games. So that just sounds like hell to me. I'm very sorry to say. Very sorry to say. Michael Taggart, £5. Which is better, Sega Rally Championship or Daytona USA? I I've always been a Daytona guy. Sega Rally's brilliant, but can't beat some Daytona, you know? Moving over to the next one. Who is that? I mean, it look, doesn't look too far off the one I've just shown you. Does it? <laughs> this one is number seven for people uh, needing to, needing help catching up. So this is number seven. Number seven. That one, I don't know. Mm. Oh, we haven't put any Streets of Rage music back on. Let's put that back on. Michael. There we go. Ooh, thank you very much, Michael, for your donation. You good, 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 good friend. Over to the next one. This next one is, where are we? Number eight. So who could this be? We've gone from every single one looking like a character from The Office to one that's a bit more, got a bit more going on there. Perhaps someone that's a bit younger or a teen, maybe. I don't know. They're holding some kind of... What's that, a bat or a, a rolled up bit of paper or something? Scott the Woz with our glasses. <laughs> Retro Man Cave, how you doing, my good man? Good to see you here, man. What could it be? What could it be? <gasps> the bully in a high school sitcom. <laughs> so we've got two more guys, and then we're going to go through the answers. We're going to go through the answers. 
Who is it? Back to generic office worker looking person. I think this one is the hardest one on here. It's majorly the hardest one. Majorly the hardest one. Um, the reason why I'm saying that is because it's a variant <laughs> on the one way he normally looks like. <laughs> but it, it, it took me so... At the end, I'm going to show you the answers and I'll show you what they actually look like in the show so we can all judge together. But uh, to find the picture of that particular Funko, of what he looked like in the show or the movie, whatever it is, it was so hard. So many Google searches to find it. But anyway, there you go. There's number nine. And uh, don't write the answers, guys. Don't write the answers. It isn't right, but don't write the answers. And over to the final one, number 10 of number uh, of round five. There you go. That one actually ain't too bad. Cause it, it looks like when you know who it is, you know, oh, okay. I mean, I suppose that's the same with all of them, but uh, this particular one, yeah. 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 Disney Channel bully character. <laughs> so there we go, guys. We have just reached the end of Slope's Game Show. Slope's Game Show, people. Thank you all so much for joining me. That's the end of the show. I'm going to go. No, I'm not going to go. I'm not going to go. What we're going to do now, guys, is we're going to go through the answers. We're going to go through the answers. But first, I've got a few things I want to do before we move over. Firstly, we need to go back to that like counter because we've got over 150 people watching and only 92 likes, which means the like counter has not has not been powered up correctly. I think that's I think that's how it works. I think that's how it works. <laughs> um, we can move that. Hey, 111. Thank you so much for playing with my Atari like counter. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Moving back over to the game show. I'm clicking option, but nothing is happening. <laughs> hey, thank you guys. Oh, look, we got up to 115. That's a nice round number. We are fine. It is finally officially better than the Vega Plus. We need to get it over 100 before it's better than this thing. This thing that I'm in right now. Thank you all so, so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, if we go back to here, before we move on, as we've got a lot of people watching, I want to give you guys a little preview, a little preview of this weekend's video that I've got going up on the channel. It's only take like two minutes and then we're going to go through the answers together. Um, but I'm so, so proud of this video. I wanted to get it out in December. Uh, I was working on it throughout December and I'm still not finished. <laughs> It's a the biggest complete history I've ever done. And I'm about to release it in the worst month that you should ever release a video on YouTube. But I'm doing it anyway. This is the next complete history. Check this out. It's a dark, dark world, a spooky world that nobody wants to be a part of. A world where one of the greatest and most legendary video game companies of all time take one of the greatest and most legendary video game franchises of all time, sticks its teeth in and sucks the life right from it. We live in a world where the latest games related to the genre-defining Castlevania include light gun arcade games, reboots and erotic pachinko machines. This is what Castlevania has become. Thankfully with the release of endless amounts of classic collections for pretty much every system imaginable along with some rather legendary cameos, the spirit and most importantly the memory of Castlevania lives on. And today, I plan to look at everything Castlevania, and I do mean everything. Castlevania is not only the biggest complete history that I've ever tackled, it's also the most loved. Pumping out more games, reboots, spin-offs, remakes, remasters and compilations than anyone could possibly imagine with the help of Asobi Quang DX's biggest Castlevania collection on the planet, 
I DJ slow plan to close the curtains, open the coffin, and shove a big old stake through the entire history of Castlevania. So join me as we take a look at who made it in the first place, whatever happened to them, how it got changed significantly from system to system, how and why it changed its own gameplay style several times over, how it ended up becoming one of the most expensive and sought after collections in gaming period, and of course, looking at what has become in the most recent of years. This is the complete history of Castlevania. Welcome to Slope's Game Room. Turn the mic back on. I'm going to stop it there because there's a bit that comes up right about now, which is going to blow up this video. And I don't want to give it away just yet. Just yet. The very next thing that happens in the video. So I'm not going to let that happen. Um, <laughs> let's go back to uh, this particular one. Come on. When's it going to load up? There we go. There we go. Back to that. So yes, Castlevania The Complete History is... I'm going to be that guy. Available to Patreons and YouTube members now um yes and uh, it'll be available to the public this weekend probably on saturday we will see we will see um oh exciting times guys i've never worked on a complete history harder than i've worked on this particular complete history thank you all for your support throughout the, uh, the many many years on the channel i just want to yeah thank you so so much very much appreciated but anyway enough about all that enough about all that um let's get into the answers let's get into the answers uh i don't know thank you guys so much i really really do appreciate it like you are so awesome you are so awesome now we'll get on with the quiz I've, i just feel like i didn't emphasize that point enough so the first particular let's go all the way back to round one round one we was going through all of the controllers when uh, lazy game reviews clint at lazy game reviews showed us this particular controller does any and use the comment section now go crazy tell me what do you think this particular controller is Guys, 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 guys. <laughs> oh, God. Old Mad Cats. There. Yeah, you can see why I, I rubbed that out earlier on, obviously, didn't I? So, yes, this is the Mad Cats Panther XL. One point if you got that. And another point if you said PC. It's a PC controller. There you go. So, yeah. Moving over to the next one. It was, of course, everybody, the roller controller or the, uh, yeah, the roller controller for the Philips CDI. Yeah, there you go, Michael. Well done, my friend. One point to you and an extra point if you got the name of roller controller. I said Pico. <laughs> I suppose it does look like it's zoomed right in, but no, those buttons are enormous. Those buttons are big. Moving over to the next one. This is number three of round one. Oh, yes. Old AVGN people out there know that this is the Roll and Rocker. But what system is it for, everyone? This is the only one I was able to identify, says Fabian. It's the NES. Yes, everyone's saying NES. Well done, well done. We, no, no, no. I was waiting for someone to get it wrong. Activated Complex. This was for the NES. Uh, you sort of stood on it and you sort of rolled around. And that was like the control, sort of, if I'm not mistaken. There you go. Uh, moving over to uh, controller number four. There we have. The Boomerang 64. So it is uh, obviously for the Nintendo 64. That is the answer to question four of round one. Boomerang 64 for the Nintendo 64. I guess Pippin. I mean, that's not a, that's not a bad guess, uh, Miss Demo. I tend to go for more obvious consoles uh, for the most part, but only because they have more weird peripherals you know but there you go there's number four moving over to number five so this one does anyone know what the name of this controller is i mean it says it at the top kind of it's 
the Alps Interactive. It says it at the top. But what system is it for? I mean, it's pretty obvious. The buttons are right there. The heavily uncomfortable looking buttons. It's for the PlayStation 1. It's the PlayStation 1. So, yes. Um, why have they made it all teardrop shape? It's so ugly, isn't it? And, and that D-pad, it's like... Oh, I mean... I suppose technically I get what they're trying to do. Where's my, my, uh, I don't know where it is. Oh, here we go. Hang on. Ugh. I suppose what they're trying to do with the D-pad is kind of do what they did with the, what they eventually did with the Xbox One, that Elite controller where it's like it goes in, you know? Maybe. Either way, it looks terrible. <laughs> it looks terrible. You, you imagine your hand just slipping all over that thing. So that's the answer number five, round one. Moving over to the next round. This one, guys. What is it? it? It says it now, doesn't it? This is so ridiculous. They marketed this as a proper controller. And I'm going to explain how it works in one moment. So this is the Game Boat. Yes. Massive shout out there to Grizzly. <laughs> <coughs> so the idea of this one... If you guys remember, have I got it on my shelf? Uh, have I got it over there? Have I got it over there? Where is it? I think I've got this game, actually. I can show it to you. There you go. It goes with this game right here. Connect Adventures. Which basically means all it is is a big rubber dinghy. So you sit in the rubber dinghy, the Xbox controller like films you, that is in the Kinect controller, and when you do this, you jump. That's it, that's the, that's the idea. Uh, and they sold that as a controller. It is literally a rubber dinghy. <laughs> <coughs> there you go. So that is apparently a controller. That's number six, I was number seven. What do we got, guys? What do we got? I'm guessing it does uh, actually float. Uh, Bumper Dump 64. Love the name. Uh, I'm guessing it does actually float. Because I'm guessing it's just literally a rubber dinghy that they've uh, relabeled. So, uh, yes, I'm seeing a few people get it there. So, this is for the ColecoVision. And the name of the controller is... The, I'm not seeing anyone get it yet. Yes, there you go, Bumper Dump. It's the Super Action Controller. Very well, very, very well done. Uh, but you've said for the NES, this particular one is for the Coleco version. I'll have a look. I don't believe there was one for the NES. Maybe I'm wrong. But yeah, it's a Super Coleco, uh, the Super Action Controller for the Coleco version. Um, that one was pretty hard to decipher. I love this thing. I want one of these big time. So, um, in the original uh, picture or little video clip that I showed you, I scribbled out what, it's, what was written down the side of it. But obviously, you can see that now. This is called the Terminator. And the way this one works is you literally hold it like a grenade. And when you click it in, that's the, uh, the, 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 the action button or whatever. And at the top, that little bit you wiggle around, that's a joystick. It's for the Atari, uh, yeah, it's for the Atari 2600, and it's called the Terminator. And that thing is real. When I found that out, I went looking for it on uh, eBay. They have they have been selling, and they're, they're not, not, not cheap. But that is the Terminator, yeah. You click, click it that way, and then you move around the little uh, analog, that little pin bit at the top. That is the, oh, not the pin, the uh, bit sticking up. That's the joystick part. Uh, yeah, the Terminator. <laughs> Such a weird one. I'd, I'd, I'd love it because it's just so obscure. I would love one of them. There you go. That's the, um, uh, the Atari 2600, the Terminator. Moving over to the next one. There you go. You can see a lot more now what's in the center and what's along the top. Where's my one of these? There it is. <clears throat> So massive shout out to Jimmy Happer, one of my favorite channels on YouTube. Been a big fan of his since the early days. Um, he sent me this over from Japan when we worked on a Seaman video together. So yes, this is literally 
Uh, people are saying Tomb Raider, all that sort of stuff. No. This is for the game Seaman. I'll get it out here. I can actually show it to you guys. Here we go. It is literally, there it is. It's the Seaman controller. Let me go uh, full screen. I can show you a bit better. There you go. That is it. <laughs> so the name of the controller is uh, called the C-Mic because it literally does have a microphone. If you look in his head, there's a little hole and that's the microphone uh, input. Well, not input, you know, it picks up your mic. It's called the C-Mic and everyone's saying different systems, but it was actually for the PlayStation 2. There you go. That is an officially... That is an official... <laughs> Sega, not Sega, because it wasn't Sega, was it? That's an official Vivarium controller for the Japanese version of Seaman. There you go. <clears throat> yes, but I mean, you don't plug anything into it. But yeah, there, there was actually another Seaman uh, controller as well, and I've got that as well. So uh, yeah, there you go. That's the Seaman uh, controller. With one analog stick. Absolutely, Adam. There you go. It's so weird. You've got to put your, your... I mean, you can't see what I'm doing, but you've got to get your thumbs all the way down here quite frequently as well, from what I understand. I haven't played it because it's a Japanese Seaman game. Unless I can speak and read Japanese, it's pretty useless. But uh, it's nice to have in the collection. There we go. That's number nine. And finally, number ten. Like I say, after I did this one, it was Metal Jesus that actually showed it off. <coughs> this is... Anyone want to say what this is called uh, or what the uh, system is for? People are saying Virtual Boy. No, it's definitely not the Virtual Boy. Is it the same Seaman as the Dreamcast game? Um, ever so slightly different and they made a sequel. That is for the original. Check out Seaman The Complete History. I've actually done a whole video about everything to do with Seaman. There's so much more than that one Dreamcast game. They made so much to do with that. <clears> there <throat> was almost a uh, 3DS game as well. So it is for the PC. Well done, David. Uh, and Sir Boring Old Fart. <laughs> Very nice name. I like it. And um, yeah, T L B T A O S D. Uh, you got it right. It's the Novint Falcon. Uh, or the Novint controller, I would have also accepted. This was designed um, to be used as a first person shooter controller so you actually hold that little ball at the back and when you move it around in different angles and different ways it pulls certain parts up and down and that is the that is the way you aim your angle and you shoot in your first person shooter i've never had the chance to use it it's something that i would use once and never again obviously uh, like most people i assume um but yeah that that is it there you go and uh, oh, i just got some donations uh, have you played Hades yet? The hype is real. I have not played Hades yet. Thank you very much, though. And that is right on the top of my wanna play list, actually. Um, yeah, uh, so not yet, but I do want to. I do want to. And I'm the man now, dog. Controllers everywhere. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Absolutely. Right. Thank you for your donations. There's your little uh, jingles coming in there. Appreciated, appreciated, guys. Right, moving over to round two. So this is the part where I show you guys. There it is. I've gone in quite quickly. The donation ticker go over. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Sorry, this is the first one of round two. I wasn't expecting to jump in this quickly. Play. There we go. So these ones. Here we go. People said Cubert. It was Commander Keen. <clears throat> The wife got that one. Ah, fair play to control Reese's wife. Everyone. Let's give a let's give a big round of applause to control Reese's wife. Three. Uh, I can't find an emoticon quick enough. Uh, yeah, well done. Well done. <laughs> uh, never mind. <coughs> so there we go. There's that one. Moving over to the next one. I'm going to go a bit slow. Does anyone know what this is? I think this is probably one of the easier ones of the ones I show. Anyone want to guess what this is? Or guess? Does anyone know what this is? Radio Tales. Get yourself a point. It is Echo the Dolphin. 
Echo the Dolphin. Another complete history I've done. Uh, approved by Ed Anuziata, the creator of Echo the Dolphin, who became a Patreon after I made that video. That was, uh, that was a bit of a uh, pat yourself on the back, well done moment when that happened. Yes, Echo the Dolphin, get yourself another couple of points for that one. Yeah, like I say you get two points for every correct answer in round two. Uh, moving over to the next one. Come on, guys, what is it? Andy Norton's not doing too bad on this one. I thought it was Jurassic Park, said Sam Dender. I know, you wrote it down, mate. I remember seeing it in the comments. People are saying McDonald Land, McDonald Treasure Land Adventure. It is McDonald's Treasure Land Adventure. A fantastic, fantastic game. It is sadly not Global Gladiators, but I understand why you put that. Yep, it is McDonald's Treasure Land Adventure. If you've never played that game and you're wondering why there's Dan pushing a McDonald's game, change that. Like, play that game. It's awesome. And yes, Radio Tales, incredible music. It sounds very, very, um, very, very Sonic free. Uh, it's soundtrack. It's, it, it's an awesome game. Treasure. Treasure made this game. So if you like Gunstar Heroes, all that sort of people that made that, go check this game out. Um, so yeah, there you go. That's uh, that one. Moving over to number four. Come on, guys. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? People are saying Metal Slug. As you know, I will not accept the answer Metal Slug because it has to have a number at the end, doesn't it? <laughs> the clue is in items like these. Oh, uh, has Artificial Fox got it? Artificial Fox. Boom. Well done. Well done. Well, I suppose you get yourself half a point if you just said Metal Slug. Why not? But the whole two points, it's Metal Slug 2. There you go. Great. Fantastic series. Awesome series. Moving over to number five, the final one of round two. Here we go. What is it, guys? Rocket launcher. People are saying Sunset Riders. Is it possibly? It is. It's the Super Nintendo version of Sunset Riders. Yes. Panic Restaurant. Understand. People are saying Burger Time. Oh, some good guesses. Some good guesses. But it is not the correct answer. So there we go. There you go. That is the end of uh, the, what did we call that one? Uh, Sprite it lucky. <laughs> Moving over to the next round. Here we go. So, I can do a little reveal on this. Put your answers down for this is the first question of round three. What do we think, guys? People are saying wipe out one, wipe out three. Metrics, Wipeout, Wipeout free, Wipeout free, Wipeout, Wipeout. People know it's Wipeout, but they're not sure which Wipeout it is. And just to make it more awkward, you can see I'm obviously using a, an import version of the game. Wipeout 2, Katamari Damacy. Let's have a look. Here comes the reveal. It is Wipeout get yourself what was that uh one point one point never seen that box art before well that is the import version of the box art. i didn't want to go give it give it to you too easy did i there you go so that's wipe out free over to the next one everyone was getting this people were going crazy in the comments i couldn't i couldn't delete them quick enough i think everyone got this didn't they uh if you want adam Transbot. Everyone got that, didn't they? I did not get this one. Okay, well, Michael didn't get this one, but most people got this one. Most people got this one. And yes, as I was saying earlier, someone has actually made a fan remake of this game for some reason. Moving over. Now, this one I'm interested in because I saw people writing down the answers and so many people getting it wrong, and I understand why he was writing it. What is this one, guys? People are saying Animaniacs, Animaniacs. No, Animaniacs. Okay. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Phalanx. People are writing down the Batman. There it is. Charles is saying Batman and Robin. Adventures of Batman. Castlevania. Oh, it's going to be between Batman and Animaniacs, isn't it? Let's check it out. It is. 
time for Animaniacs. There you go, guys. Animaniacs. <laughs> Get yourself a point. Um, I, I remember playing that back in the day and not thinking it was too bad and then trying to play it again, I don't know, maybe a year ago or so and really struggling with it. Really struggling with it. This is fun, actually. Was you expecting something different, Weather Report? Of course it's fun. The background is kind of generic, says Fabion. What we got here, guys? This one's Batman. Batman, Aero the Acrobat, someone says. I don't know. Batman, Golden Axe, Curtis. Don't you take sure. Batman, the Dark Knight. Well, definitely the Dark Knight on the Genesis. Uh, Batman, Batman. It is... Batman. I feel like I could do a good Batman voice. Batman. Oh, I've got a bit more of a... Um, oh, what's his name? Is it Mr. Claw or Dr. Claw from uh, Inspector Gadget? I'll get you next time, Gadget. They should hire me for the Inspector Gadget movie. A new Inspector Gadget movie, not that shit one that had five on the soundtrack. Let's move on. What's this one, guys? Damn, that was a good voice. <laughs> I'll get you next time, Gadget. Power Slave, Exhumed. Oh, there's a lot of Chains of Olympus. Oh, that's Batman, Chains of Olympus. Exhumed, Power Slave, Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider, Golden Axe, uh, Panzer Dr Dragoon's Way, Exhumed, maybe Virtua Fighter. It's not Virtua Fighter. Columns. Oh, this is a one that's going to pull everyone apart. And it is. Let's go, guys. Here we go. Egyptian first person shooter game. <laughs> it is. <coughs> Tomb Raider. I'm looking in all your webcams on your phones and your PCs and your TVs and going and just watching you all go, ah, of course, ah, there you go. Wait, wasn't that one on the PS1? Yes, it was. Um, I've got that for Christmas. I've got that on the same Christmas as uh, Die Hard Trilogy. There you go. And my birthday's on the 4th of December and my Christmas, so I had these two games in my hand and I had to choose which one. I was going to have on my birthday on the 4th of December and which one I had to give back to my parents to put under the Christmas tree and I was like oh, 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 which one should I do um, I think I chose I chose Tomb Raider because I remember on Christmas Day running around and running people over and getting really excited in Die Hard Trilogy there you go so there you go there's Tomb Raider uh, let's go to the next one everyone knew this one didn't they well everyone, everyone was shouting this one out I'm surprised you put this one in there what is it, guys? What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Michael, LSD, LSD, dreams, dream emulator, LSD, LSD, it is. Going to reveal itself in a minute. LSD. One incredibly weird game. It says it right there. Uh, yeah, so that's a strange one. I have, I have I have played with it a little bit, but there's for someone like me, there's no fun in that game. Uh, I think Cad Icarus did a pretty good video on that, if people are not sure what that game is. Um, yeah, uh, it's a first-person game where you don't shoot, you just wander. And the idea is you're in a dreamlike state, and every time you do it, something weird happens, and then the game just stops and it starts, and it's just nothing really works, but it's supposed to be like that. It's, it's weird. Uh, and it goes for silly money. It goes for silly money because all the YouTubers did it. Here we go, guys. Over to number seven. W the, the wacky box art round. Question seven. People are saying Maniac Mansion. Maniac Mansion. Little Nemo, maybe. It is not Castle of Illusions. God, what a game. What a game. It is, of course. I'm quite happy with my editing on that one. Because I had to take all those guys out as well. <laughs> what a game, guys. You know what? I say what a game. I very, very, very rarely touch point and clicks. But, um, yeah, I, I need to change that. I need to change that. Classic game. As as Control Alt said there. Classic game. Maniac Mansion. Moving over. What is it, guys? What is it? 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 <laughs> no, the game. I've, I've not tried that. Well, I've not tried both. <clears throat> no, I have played the game a little bit. I've not tried the uh, substance. But 
There is no Zombies Are My Neighbors games for the, uh, or, or Ain't My Neighbors games on the um, N64. People are saying Buck Bumble, a bit of Duke Nukem there. Uh, with a real 90 soundtrack, Emmy, you are not wrong. I've used it in a few videos, actually. Let's have a look. It is Buck Bumble. Boom. Buck Bumble. Oh, it re repeated itself. <laughs> Bug Bumble. What did you put down, Adam? I'm interested. I'm, I'm scrolling up. What did you write originally? Uh, I didn't see your answer. Oh, hang on. Did you put it there? You're just like, no! <laughs> Control Alt Bs. I like it. I see what you did. Come on, guys. Classic, classic, classic. First video I ever did. No longer the first video on my channel because I had to delete it and put it out later. But um, what is it, guys? Spelunka, Ronald, not Ronald. Hey, Dan, how you doing, buddy? It's not Splathouse, not Pitfall. Roland on the Ropers. What is going on with your keyboard today, mate? This is one for my classic home computer fans out there. The first video I ever, ever did. For people that don't know, to give you, uh, yep, Fred as well, also known as Fred. <clears throat> For people that don't know, the story behind this particular game is there were several games in the Roland series and um, Alan Sugar, I'll explain who he is in a minute, Alan Sugar who basically had um, released the Amstrad CPC, a home computer here in the UK, and Alan Michael Sugar Trading, AMS Trad, um, yeah, he basically... The story is he basically went to loads of different development houses and just said, make me a game based on my mascot, Roland, and then left it there. They didn't know who Roland was or anything. So in this particular game, he's like a, a, a sort of Indiana Jones character. In another game, he's a pirate. In another game, he's a flea. In another game, he's a block, a cube that bounces around. It's like completely different in every game, but they've all got the same name. And uh, yeah, that's... Uh, uh, I, I just think it's a fantastic story, and it's the story that made me want to start my... Uh, uh, channel in all honesty uh, so yeah that's the story of Roland uh, Roland on the ropes one of the better ones in the series uh, I had Roland in the caves yes that, when it, that was when he was a flea DJ assassin um, and yes for the people out there the Americans out there I think the best way <laughs> the best way to describe Alan Sugar is he's like Donald Trump before but not anymore because donald trump's a very different person nowadays i almost went the whole stream about bringing up politics no um alan sugar uh is the host of the apprentice in the uk just like donald trump was the apprentice uh host in america before he became the president um so um yeah and and alan sugar is known for a lot of electronics chief electronics in the uk mo uh, uh handsets and hi-fi systems you're fired you know all that sort of stuff um a legend for the wrong reasons, but not as many wrong reasons as the other guy. Um, but we're, we're going to move on. We're going to move on. <laughs> I don't want to explain who Donald Trump is. If you know who, Don if you don't know who Donald Trump is, look him up on Twitter. I'm, I'm, I'm sure you'll get somewhere with that. Anyway, let's move on to number ten quickly. Quickly, what is it, guys? What is it, guys? Answer number ten of round three. People are saying Lion King. People are saying Jurassic Park. <laughs> I'm not reading out your comments. Um, Rambo. Desert Strike. Star Tropics. Let's have a look, guys. It is... Jurassic Park. I'm liking all the suggestions, though, because you're taking what you see and you're, you're you're giving it a good go, aren't you? I'm seeing Contra Apocalypse now. <laughs> uh, yeah, there you go. Jurassic Park for the Mega Drive. Ooh. 8.5 out of 10. Is that because you got the Wipeout but not Wipeout 3? Is that what it was? 1.5 out of 10. So, there we go. So, the next one that I did was let me move it over to this particular round. right so this is normally the part of the round where i go through all of the music 
Now, normally I don't play the, that track again, uh, but what I'm going to do is I am going to play it again. But we'll turn the volume right down. Yes, sir. So, and we'll, I'll go through them with you as it happens. So straight away, at the very, very beginning. Um, we had Die Hard Trilogy, Metal Gear Solid, right at the very beginning there. Going straight into a bit of Vice City and Snatcher. So you got that Vice City coming in there with that Snatcher saxophone as well. Where are they? Well, they're called all so obviously you're hearing the beat of, um, uh, which one is it? The, the Terminator and the Night Trap voice samples. Oh, crikey. That crikey is uh, Perfect Dark. You got a bit of Star Fox happening there with Odd World voice samples and Toe Jam and L in Panic on Funkatron. <coughs> Hearing all those at the same time. This one is one of the only parts that I've actually not touched really, but this one is uh, Cannon Fodder. There we go, a bit of Sonic the Hedgehog 2. <coughs> And then, oh, yep, that is Ghouls and Ghosts. Right, so this particular part, I'm going to turn it up a little bit, but I've mixed like several tracks all together at the same time. You've got a bit of Streets of Rage 4, Super Mario Maker, and Sonic Adventure 2 all playing at the same time here. So check this out. That, that beat is a bit of Streets of Rage 4. Turn it back down again so you can actually hear me. So that is the voice sample is from Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles. Choo Choo Rocket in the background. The rapping is from the game um, Super Tempo. And the final voice sample, who's going to get it? Ah, you little vermin are way too stupid to understand what you're getting yourselves into. Who is it? Who is it? Who is that voice sample at the end? Mr. Dr. Neo Cortex from Crash Free, yes, radio. Well done. And Man Shovel dropping in a three dollars right at the end. Thank you so so much, my good friend. Um and uh yeah, excellent. Cheers, Man Shovel. Gotta put my name at the top. Sup slope, how you doing, my friend? Um uh this is a fun live stream hope you enjoy it too i'm yeah i'm loving it mate this is a good one thank you so so much right now let's move into the final round come on load it up for me here we go the final round which was the funko pop round oh actually no before we go ahead out of those 20 how many people do you think you got we got we got sevens we got 10 9 10 out of 10 16 to mistimo my god 17 from yuga uh, yugi uh got a 10 7 out of 20 22 in the end <laughs> okay <laughs> um 2 3 13 2 i think 15 um i think that's not the worst i think i'm about level and where i need to be maybe make it a little bit easier but um yeah there you go i'm quite chuffed with that quite chuffed with that i saw someone ask earlier am i going to do this again i think this has been a success let me know if you want me to do this again i don't want to do it weekly but maybe as a monthly thing Maybe the first uh, Thursday of every month. That'd be quite cool, wouldn't it? So there we go. That is the end of the fourth round. We're moving into the Funko Pop round. There should be a Slope Funko Pop. There definitely should be. There's a Slope um, uh, Tubbs Duck. <laughs> you know me. I love my tubs. Right, here we go. Right, guys. In the comments. Who is it? Some of it's the quiz I did in Margate. Uh, some of it's from what I did in Norway. And even more, some of it's what I did in Blackpool. So it's a big mix of everyone. I'm seeing Joey, Shaun of the Dead, uh, the manager from The Office, The Office, Andy from The Office, Ashins. <laughs> Ashins. 
Ashens is bald now. This is obviously pre early old school Ashens, isn't it? <clears throat> Dude from the office. <clears throat> I'm the man now. Dog's back in the chat. How you doing, bud? So I'm sorry to say, guys, not one person's got it so far. A random white guy. Oh, okay. So Sam Tendo's got it. Sam's got it. Ryan from the office. Bloke from Ozark. Al Bundy from Married with Children. Who used to watch that before The Simpsons was on? Uh, on Sky One. There you go. I don't know if that makes it any easier for you guys. That is Adam from Workaholics. Who's that? <laughs> Everyone doesn't know. It's from something called Adam. It's from, from my, the thing is, I want to make sure I put these in order. So I'm actually going to type in Adam Workaholic. Workaholics, sorry. Yeah, that's him. There was a show called a a Workaholics, and this is Adam from the show Workaholics. <laughs> Give yourself two points if you know uh, if you got that one, which I don't think anyone did. Uh, right, next. Who's that? Come on, guys. Okay, this is a bit more of a popular show. This one is very popular. This one is very popular. Seeing Lex Luthor, Tommy Lee. Artificial Fox says he's from Stranger Things, Doctor Who, Trump, <laughs> either that or Batman, uh, U2, Frank Drebin, guy from Stranger Things, dude from Wall Street, Dynasty, Derek, uh, someone from Mad Men. Let's have a look, guys. Look at that. I even found the picture of what they obviously based it on. It is Brenner from Stranger Things. Uh, it's not exactly new, but if you haven't ever seen that show, especially season one, change that. It's freaking awesome. It's so good. So, so good. <clears throat> People are saying who, who? Go and watch Stranger Things. It's a great, great TV show. And that's Brenner. Brenner from Stranger Things. Who we got here, guys? These are not game characters. No, these are all from TV shows and movies. It's a, just a little bit of a relaxing moment from all the gaming. We need one round that's not to do with gaming. A chill out round. Uh, some people are saying he's from Hannibal. I'm seeing Nick Fury, Gus Fring, uh, Obama, <laughs> uh, the guy from Breaking Bad, Empire, Cyborg, Doctor Who, True Detective, Will Smith from Men in Black, uh, Bob Geldof, Miami Vice, Guy Casual, dude from Lucifer, Dr. Hibbert, uh, Morpheus. You're correct. It's Morpheus. It's Samuel L. Jackson. No, no, not Samuel L. Jackson. Ah, that was a little funny. Right. It's um, uh, Jack Crawford from Hannibal. <coughs> are there going to be animated movie characters or are all these just live action? These are... All live action. Let's carry on. <laughs> Sorry, weather report. I'm guessing you didn't want to hear that. Um, so there you go. Uh, again, that was Jack Crawford from Hannibal. I never watched that show, but apparently it's good. Who we got there, guys? One that everyone got. Lawrence Fishburne. Yes. Fungo pops are the worst. Yeah, I've got very few left now. But like I say, you have to have a set, don't you? Before, otherwise, it doesn't make sense. Jessica Jones, Jessica Jones, Jessica Jones, Jessica Jones, Jessica Jones. You can't say that fast, can you? There we, there she is, there she is. What? Is she one or two points? Um, well, I suppose she's two points because it's the name of the show and the name of her, isn't it? So yeah, Jessica Jones from Jessica Jones. Moving on. To the next one. Who is it, guys? Who is it? Jesse's dead girlfriend. Oh, wasn't that a great show? I might watch that again. I might watch some Breaking Bad again. That was good. So I'm seeing Satan. That could be any person. <laughs> no good. Mad Men bloke. Uh, let me have a look. We've actually written down. Okay, I've never watched this show. I need to change that actually. I bought it on Blu-ray because I want to change that. Leo in Wolf of Wall Street. Jordan Belfort. Uh, Moriarty from Sherlock, 
Charlie Sheen. I'm going to press play because not many people are guessing this one because I think this one is quite a hard one, isn't it? It is Jim Moriarty from Sherlock. It does look like Leo, doesn't it, Man Shovel? Absolutely, mate. That's my boss at work. <laughs> Funko Pops are so simple, damn it. I know, and that's what makes it fun. That's what makes it fun. Someone did indeed guess Moriarty. Let me have a look. Go up a little bit. It was uh, Lawrence in. L Lawrence in. There you go. Give yourself some points, my man. Moving on. Who we got here, guys? From an incredibly popular movie. An incredibly popular movie. Legendary movie. The tie colours are wrong. What on that last one? I'll go back and have a look in a minute. I'm seeing Soul Goodman. That's a good one. Men in Black Dude. It is not. No, it's not Leo. American Psycho. Michael. Um, where are we? Uh, oh, yeah. Michael Corlane. Uh, Asian guy, I think. <laughs> Leo. People saying Leonardo. Everyone that looks just like. A, a smartly dressed guy in a suit. Everyone thinks it's Leo. There he is. Michael from The Godfather. That's the best picture I could find of him. Um, sorry it's not in a blue suit. <laughs> <clears throat> you got that, Rob. Give yourself a point, my man. Well done. Guys, I don't want to end this. We're getting close to the end. We've got uh, one, two, three, four more to do. And that is the end of the quiz. Let's keep going. Generic man in a suit. Who is it? What we got, guys? Leo. Notes, who is it? Okay, Conan O'Brien, Chandler Bing, uh, dude on meth, <laughs> Jimmy Fallon. Literally, all of them are generic man in a suit. <laughs> uh, Al Bundy, John Stewart, someone from Arrested Development, Fug Two in Streets of Rage, uh, an incredibly short person, generic man in a suit with a cold, dead eyes that all fuckos have. <laughs> I've got a few up here that I'm looking at. Uh, Rick Astley. Uh, let's press play and see where it is. It is. There he is. It's Michael Blue from Arrested Development. Blue shirt man, says Michael Towns. There we go. Over to the next one. Another incredibly classic movie. That I talk about in the next complete history. Yes, the Castlevania complete history. Why do I bring this film up? Well, you'll have to see. You'll have to see. Marty McFly. People are saying McFly uh, again. The kid from the Goonies. Corey Feldman from the Goonies. Goonies. Aaron Banner. Uh, Clubby McNomal. <laughs> it is. Ironically, Mouth from the Goonies. He's even holding the map. There he is. Woo. Hey, you guys. Yeah, he does, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. He looks like a teen or something there, but I don't know how you make him look younger. I don't know how you would. I, I suppose his, arm, his shoulders are too broad to make him look young. Yeah. There you go. But the pop doesn't have a mouth. I know. Here we go, guys. Uh, number nine. Which I think is easily the most obscure on this list. Age of Mulder. Pulp Fiction. Travolta. The white guy from Men in Black. Everyone says that Men in Black. Just a guy in the suit. Pulp Fiction, X Files, Mr. Pink, uh, Saul, uh, Pulp Fiction, Agent Mulder, Mulder, uh, Sam from Supernatural, 
looks like me, says Michael Towns. Uh, Reservoir Dogs, Fox Mulder again, Mox Mulder, Damon Alborn, uh, various Reservoir Dogs. <laughs> uh, it does, it actually looks like, I can't remember the name, is it, Miss, it is Mr. Pink, isn't it? The one that gets shot and he's laying on the floor and he's the one you see on the cover shooting up. It does look like it's not him. Um, let's press play. It is Sam undercover from Supernatural and apparently it's a variant uh, and it took me a very long time to find that picture of him in that suit because he doesn't normally wear that apparently he works he wears something a little bit different um, so if you want the one where he wears a black suit Funko you have to give him another 15 quid well, it's probably really rare now it's probably worth hundreds this little rubber thing yeah. <clears throat> the tie is wrong I'm, uh, I'm afraid that's the best I could find And yeah, they're missing the stub as well. <laughs> These Funkos really are horrible. Well, I'm sad to say, guys, we're into the final one. Here we go. The final one. Who is it? Who is it? Oh, I nearly pressed. I nearly played it for too long. Who is it, guys? Who is it? Biff. Dean Biff. People are saying Biff. Flash Thompson. Fungos are basically Fortnite skins. People, everyone's saying Biff, Bob Turner, some dude from Walking Dead, Biff from Back to the Future. Everyone's saying Biff. Biff, Biff Tannen, Tannen, sorry. Biff Tannen, uh, Jack Bayer. This is, this is a crazy one because it does look like who they're going for and nobody's got it right. <laughs> Chris, what, the uh, angry video game nerd? <laughs> <coughs> God, I've lost my voice tonight. Hello, you. It's not Guru Larry. Eminem. It's not Eminem. <laughs> Moana. <laughs> and it's not. Uh, uh, the Irate Gamer would love it if he had a Funko Pop, but I'm afraid he doesn't have a Funko Pop. It's not Chris Pat from Jurassic Park. It's from a very popular franchise, though. More popular than. Uh, is it more popular than Jurassic Park? Not like from the fans' point of view, but I think it might earn more money than Jurassic Park. Control Alt Reese, three pound. Thank you very much, my friend. Here we go. Dude from Blur, Jason Bourne. Oh my God, no one's getting it. Simon Cowell, no. Paul Walker from Fast and the Furious. It is Brian from the Fast and the Furious. Hmm. Yes, well done, Rob. Who? What? What? Yes. Oh, no beard though. Is he always? I've seen all of them, maybe except the last one and possibly two. I didn't watch that one that was The Rock in it, which actually looked quite like a good fun action film. But um, and I didn't watch the one, the proper one before that. But uh, yeah, it's that dude that died in Fast and the Furious, Paul Walker. And there you have it, guys. He doesn't always have a beard. I was about to say, DJ, because I, I, I was sure he didn't always have a beard. There you go. Not at a 20, I suck at Funkos. <laughs> Come on in, guys. What did we get? What did we get? What did we get? Tell me. Not one. Zero out of 10. Yeah, like one out of six. Okay. Uh, Grand Old Goose said zero out of 20. <laughs> he's pretty clean cut in the first two there you go yeah one out of ten wow should i do the funko pop round again because i thought that was quite funny i thought that was quite a funny way to end it um we'll see seven points so out of um i think you should have got yourself uh out of uh 20 40 uh 80 points 80 points out of 80 points what did you all get Out of 80 points, guys, got 37 points in total. 11.5. 20, 24. I came in late to 24. Okay, you can jump in near the beginning there, weather report. 26. I woke up late, but this looks like it was great. I had, I had fun tonight, guys. We could do this again in a month or something. I got zero because I was late. Uh, and only got here for the fun go round. Oh, I do apologise, Tiger. Tiger. <laughs> around about 15. 
nothing. Nothing, Sam Dead. What? Not one. Wow. Um, 20. Uh, I'm not keeping score. Oh, that's all good. Well, you know what? I think it was uh, probably a little bit on the hard side, but it's an education, isn't it? We get to learn about all of the video games, and I thought this was only going to take an hour, but in actual fact, this has been a two hour stream, and I've been pretty chuffed with it. I've got to give some thanks and some shout outs to some awesome people that uh, uh, supported the show tonight. There's been a lot of awesome people in there. And hey, P Ferreira, thank you very, very much, my good friend. Thank you. Let's um, have a look at the viewer activity in my back end, and I can give you my back end. That sounded good, didn't it? Uh, for some reason, it's not letting me see who's donated. Yeah, there we go. So Cromilla, right at the beginning there, with <coughs> donated right at the beginning. PA Felton. Five dollars. Uh, we got two dollars there. I'm say your name wrong. Uh, Nohij Eod. Thank you very much. Retro Rista. Retro Rista again. Um, David Yarman. Uh, Retro Rista again. Michael Taggart. Nioj Eod again. I'm sorry, I'm not saying your name right. I'm the man now. Dog man shovel control alt Reese. Uh, was that it? I think that was it. Thank you all so 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 much you guys have been incredible look in your back end yes <laughs> um having a look and uh, yeah like i said guys if you want to check out the complete history of castlevania which actually features control alt reese another very good channel you should go and support him he's a very 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 good channel on his way up to uh take over us all um then yeah go and support him and he's actually a voice in my next video actually um Along with who else is in my in my video? You've got Wang, uh, Larry Bundy Jr., John Riggs, Adam Korolik, who am I forgetting? Obviously, Control Reese. I'm who else did we get in there? We got Top Hat Gaming Man. I'm missing two people. No, one person. There's one person I can't remember who it was. Someone else. Someone else as well. <laughs> And Andy Norton dropped in a £2 right at the end. Thank you so, so much for all of your support, guys. Thank you so much for your support throughout the entire of 2020. Um, and, uh, yeah, yeah, I've, uh, I've, I've had a lot of fun tonight. We will do, definitely do this as a monthly thing. Maybe the first Thursday of every month. Maybe I'll advertise it a bit more next time and we can get a bit more people in there. We'll get over 200. I think that's what we need to do. Let's end on the like count and get this video thumbed up. So uh, YouTube like it uh, as, as well as you guys do. 140 people, that ain't too bad. We've got more likes than people watching right now. So thank you very much, guys. I'm DJ Slope. I'm out. Hang around for this weekend because we have the Castlevania Complete History going up. Um, but for right now, I'm going to go and uh, I'm going to go hang out with the wife and watch some Netflix probably. Yeah. Or maybe I'll go watch that Truth Seekers show on Amazon. That's, that's pretty good. I'm enjoying that. That's pretty good. So, goodbye, everyone, and I'll see y'all later. I was hoping that would get to 150 before I left, but it's not going to. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.